As we do each and every Wednesday, let's connect with Michelle Ombi from the Springfield Business Journal to talk about what's going on in and around the Springfield business community. Michelle, let's get right into it and start off with uh, Better with Bubbly Boutique. Uh, what is this all about? Yes, we talked about them earlier this year, and now they are holding their grand opening on Friday. Uh, as the name implies, it's a women's boutique, and their motto is, Life is better with a glass of champagne and a new outfit. And uh, owner Randy Pekka actually launched the business during COVID. It was initially an online-only business that she started in uh, the summer of 2020, and then she had moved into a space at White Oaks Mall for about a year but uh, quickly outgrew that, and as things continued to go well with the business, she decided to uh, lease a space in the new strip center under construction by AMC Theater. So when she has her grand opening this Friday, she will be the first business opening in uh, what's being called Wabash Crossing Mall, which is over there on, on Stadium Drive right by the movie theater out west. It's pretty exciting to hear a business start during the pandemic when a lot of businesses were struggling and to see them grow, not just uh, to uh, you know new brick-and-mortar facilities, but even outgrowing those facilities. So thumbs up to uh, Better with Bubbly Boutique uh, and something you're hearing about with business in the 217. Uh, next up, uh, the team from Vele. Uh, they're, uh, they're starting something else up. What's going on with their latest creation? Yes, speaking of growth, so it's actually the team behind uh, not just Vele, but they have Curate and then uh, Soleil Cafe, uh, Dan and Nikki Sperry and Justin Richardson, that trio, they're bringing a new concept to Springfield with what they're calling Motto Pies and Pints. And Motto is Italian for insane, and that's what Nikki says everybody tells them they are when they uh, share their decision to open up a new restaurant. But they're actually going into that former Rosati's pizza space there on South 6th Street. Uh, Rosati's closed earlier this year, and that space has been dark. But Nikki says they hope to, hope to reopen uh, after the first of the year, probably sometime in January. They're refreshing the interior, and she says it will it will not be your typical uh, your typical pizza place. Yes, they will have pizza, they will have beer, wings, appetizers, all that good stuff, but uh, definitely different than uh, perhaps what you think of when you think of a pizzeria. So when do we anticipate uh, motto uh, pies and pints? Well, they're shooting for they're shooting for a January opening. She says they're still finalizing their business hours. They know they're going to be open on Sundays because they have a lot of TVs. They're planning to do sporting events and all that. Uh, still working out all the details of those hours. They're also going to have 10 different taps for uh, regional craft beers. And, uh, of course, since it's the team behind Bailey and Curate, they will have, uh, again, something a little bit uh, different than what, what you might get from your traditional pizza and wings restaurant. Michelle Ombeam, publisher of the Springfield Business Journal. We've got a couple of more items to tell listeners about. But uh, before we get to that, how can people get their hands on the SBJ? Well, if you go to springfieldbusinessjournal.com, you can sign up for BizBytes. That's our newsletter that comes out every Wednesday afternoon with a roundup of what's happening in the business community, and it's free of charge, so no reason not to sign up for that. And, of course, you can also uh, sign up to make sure you get the print edition delivered directly to your home or office. Let's talk about something that should be just right for the holiday shopping season. Wouldn't it be lovely? Uh, give us a bit of background on the uh, the company and uh, what we can expect moving forward. Yeah, so Wouldn't It Be Lovely has been around for a while. That is actually a nonprofit ministry uh, started by Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, and they're known for their very colorful hand-painted furniture. They have sales over there at the church a few times a year, and then more recently they opened up uh, a residential home on South Grand Avenue because their, their workforce is comprised of women that are recovering from lives of abuse and addiction. And so now they've launched a new venture called Be Lovely Boutique, operating out of the, the house there on South Grand Avenue, and they are having a holiday open house uh, Thursday from 4 to 7. So in addition to the furniture items that you can buy at other times of the year, they will now have uh, boutique items as well. So if you're looking for a, some unique uh, holiday gift ideas, you might want to check that out. So make that uh, part of your shopping list heading into the holidays. Uh, it's never too early to knock out that Christmas shopping. Uh, meanwhile, the Illinois Department of Transportation, they're uh, going to be hosting an open house. Uh, what are they going to be looking at? Yes, while you're out and about Thursday, you'll already be in the neighborhood. If you're over on South Grand, uh, you can stop by Franklin Middle School um, and 
as you mentioned, Department of Transportation is having uh, kind of a public information meeting. There's no formal presentation. It's just open house style, so you can stop in any time between 4 and 6. Um, they've got plans in the works to incru- improve MacArthur Boulevard from the Wabash-Stanford Avenue area all the way up to South Grand. So they're going to share some of the preliminary uh, studies and drawings and things like that, and they're asking for public feedback on the on the plan so that they can make some tweaks before it's all finalized. So again, stop by the uh, Be Lovely Boutique open house on South Grand, and then stop by the IDOT open house uh, over there at Franklin Middle School while you're at it on Thursday. Just some of the things going on in and around the Springfield business community, and of course, Michelle Ohm, the publisher of the Springfield Business Journal, knows what's going on, and she shares it with us each and every week. Greatly appreciate your time as always, and we'll talk again very soon. All right. Thanks, Greg. It is Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's